on the road, but she's already tore through three or four fences. <laughs> Oh yeah, get short. Definitely get short. So we're gonna try to keep her out of that pasture and put her back into this one. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Get Short Series. So today, what we got going on is we got a, a calf that, that got out on the neighbors. Um, we put these cattle in the hospital pen the night before and one of them tore out of the, the fence of the hospital pen and then threw two more fences onto the road. Um, in between us and one of our neighbors. This calf is a long way from where it's supposed to be. So pretty much me and dad got to go over there and get the calf trailer loaded. We're pretty, we're, we're going to try to get the calf into one of our pastures and then trailer load it in our pasture, but that doesn't really work out. So I'll just kind of let you watch what happens. Eli knows what one on the fight looks like. pasture get her loaded Great. neighbors need a new gate chain that gummy I'm very familiar with the big bend. Thanks. Obviously we ended up over in the neighbor's pasture, which stinks, but here we are at plan B. So I'm gonna kind of give you the breakdown of, of what our game plan is. The wind's really bad this, on that particular day, so you can't hear us really well. Basically, we're headed out to locate the calf. We know that it's somewhere in that ditch where it jumped the fence with the neighbor's cows. 
So we're gonna go down in those willows and try to get her located. Once we get her located, our goal is to push her as far as we possibly can towards the trailer without roping her. Um, now, if she quits respecting our horses or chooses to run off, that's when we'll put a loop on her and then control her feet that way. But our goal is to push her as far as we can without roping her, mostly because they just travel better that way. So you're gonna watch us push this calf quite a long ways without getting a loop on her. And then our goal from there is to get her to the trailer and get her loaded. So I'll let you watch from here. So she's the yellow tag heifer right there looking at me. Woo! Yep! Wait, there's no other way to communicate out here. The wind's blowing hard. So I need to get her back through these willows and going my way and hopefully when he gets somewhere higher than where he is he'll see me hey let's just let her drift up here into the open let her drift up here into the open away from that ditch and then we'll cut her off out here take her as far that way as we can go Put pressure or just be easy with her. Just what just what we got. As long as she don't try to cut back, we're gonna keep her moving. That way. As soon as she tries to go back that way, we we'll stick it on her. Hey, 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 hey. I've got to go that way a little bit. Don't put too much there. Gosh. Dang it, dog. be able to see the truck maybe when we get through this little spot of sage we can get her Shut the door. 
Shut the door. Hurry, Marty. Hurry. Nice shot. What a what a hero shot. <sighs> I ain't believing that. That's crazy. That's crazy. Come here, buddy. Plan A. Trash. I tried to get her down the road to the gate. She cut back on me. My horse made a move that I didn't really need him to make blew the calf through the fence. Plan B, we came into the pasture she ran into. We went and got her out of the willows and took her towards the trailer. And we kind of got her respecting our horses pretty good before we roped her. Dad made an awesome shot, lined her out. And then I basically hazed the whole way to the trailer. The El Guapo. We get to the trailer and she just jumps right in. So. Silver Strings first trailer load didn't even didn't even go to the horn. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs>